All right, so uh, they do the whole show wrap up. The graphic is on the screen, copyright 2222, and uh, they're saying goodbye, and Riddle is celebrating up at the ramp with DC, and the lights all go out, and Michael Cole is playing surprise announcer. Are we still on the air? Are we still live? Crowd can see where this is going. All the cell phones are out, all the fireflies we have around. We hear a man singing about how he has the whole world in his hands, Play starts going crazy. And then for the next, I don't know, two minutes, guys pe- start showing up in the crowd dressed as characters from Bray Wyatt's past. Here's a dude in a pig mask. Here's a dude in a Hawaiian You mean shirt. Huskus. Thank you, Brian. Here's Huskus. A Huskus mask. Huskus. Ah, God. That that's, the greatest, that's the greatest WWE name in history. Huskus. The pig. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> for clarifying. Yeah. <laughs> Not Huskus the snake or Huskus the no. weasel. No. Huskus is the pig. Gotcha. The There's fat a dude pig. In a, dude in a Hawaiian shirt with the, the, the straw hat on. There's a dude in a bunny suit. Some of these I didn't even know. There was just some guy in a scary costume. I couldn't identify what the hell it was. Uh, I think that was supposed to be the fiend. Well, I saw the fiend. Okay. There's a different one. I didn't know what it was. And There's then like some a guy in a Hawaiian shirt and a chicken head. It was a buzzard. Follow the buzzards, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, a scary mask just appears on the commentary desk, and they're all freaked out. We do see the fiend, and then we see a doorway appear on the stairs, on the stair- a stage. There's a doorway on the stage, and there's a spooky light coming from behind it. Uh, we see on this big screen an even more warped version of the Firefly Funhouse. It's all covered in cobwebs. All the puppet characters are out laying around covered in dust and cobwebs and uh, just left out. And uh, finally, the door appears. The door opens. There's a scary blue light. Out steps Bray Wyatt. He is wearing a new scary mask. He saw the black phone and copied that. There are words being said I did not understand. And uh, he's there with a blue light, blue lantern, his scary mask. Unmasks, it is in fact Bray Wyatt. It may be the camera angle, but they were. It was basically a naval eye view looking up at him, and he appears to have been eating well in his time off. Mm-hmm. And uh, he says he's here. He blows out the magic blue light, and we fade to black, and the show ends. So, yes, the main event of Extreme Rules was an entrance. Yep. Hey, it was awesome. I thought this whole thing was extraordinarily well done. And the crowd went crazy for this guy's return. And the question is, now what? I guess we're going to find out here soon. But I hope it don't involve no fucking magic. And at some point, he's got to wrestle. All I know is Brian, is Brian is right. There are people who absolutely love Bray Wyatt. They love the lore and all these wacky characters and all the changes in his gimmick. And they love every single step. And the people... The people who love Bray Wyatt and paid attention to everything that's happened in Bray Wyatt over the past, God, close to a decade, actually. Uh, no, it's impossible. 2014 at WrestleMania, he was there against John Cena. That's close to a decade. I mean, he was doing God the next T before damn, that. Damn, what so, happened? Yeah. We're old. We're very, very old. Uh, I get older tomorrow. Even older. That's right. Yeah, I'll never forget. 10, 10, 10. Yep. Maybe you suffer through a TNA pay-per-view. <laughs> Story of my life. Story of my life. So uh, anyway, the point is, people who love this stuff and invested their time and invested their energy and invested their emotions in caring about this character were rewarded for paying the attention and investing all their time and energy into that. That's good. This is a show done, or excuse me, a segment done for Bray Wyatt fans, and the Bray Wyatt fans got what they wanted, and I'm not going to criticize them for that. Maybe they should get like a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel? Uh, actually, actually, yes. Maybe okay. they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. Or Put him or... black and white, Jared. Make him <laughs> so... look as gold and gray as possible. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. <laughs> this is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now yeah. we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? <laughs> yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. <laughs> well, we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. The Vin Man. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.